Sam Wilson here, Sam's Antique Motors. Today I'm gonna to show you how I've set the timing on this uh, motor. This is a technique just about usable on any V8 motor or V6 motor that has points and condenser in it. And I've rebuilt this motor, I've got it all reassembled. I've actually tested the distributor out of the car. I know the, tip, the distributor's working right, firing properly. So what I've done is I've put the, the timing mark to five degrees before top dead center and then I'm gonna use a continuity meter to tell me exactly when the points are open so I won't know where to set the distributor timing so it'll be as close as possible to get this thing started up. And you can do this with a continuity tester or a test light. You can do the same thing with a test light. What I'm gonna do is I'm just, I've got it setting on continuity <clears throat> and it's got a, a noise with it. So I'm gonna set that uh, one pin on the distributor terminal and I don't even have the battery hooked up. I'm gonna put one pin on the distributor terminal and then you can just ground the other pin of the continuity multimeter anywhere on the plate. And as soon as the points contact, then it will provide continuity and it'll buzz. When the points open up, it'll break the ground and the continuity will go away. And that's where you know exactly where to set the distributor to be at five degrees or four degrees or whatever you want to be before top dead center. So let me show you how that looks on this harmonic balancer. And then I'll show you uh, what we do at the distributor. So you can see down here on the balancer, I actually ground a groove in top dead center when I built the motor and this is the pin. And I calculated the circumference of that uh, harmonic balancer, which happens to be about 20 inches, and I divided by that by 360 times five degrees, and it's a little over a quarter of an inch. So I've moved that timing mark manually to where the pin is just a little over a quarter of an inch before top dead center. So now that I have that, I'm gonna move the distributor so the points are in time. All right, here's the setup. I'm by myself, so just using a standard multimeter. I've got it set on continuity, so it buzzes when they I have full continuity. Since I'm alone, I've just used a jumper wire to connect this pin so I don't have to hold it physically onto the distributor. And that jumper wire, I connected onto this terminal, uh, the input wire to the, to the distributor, which is really a ground wire, so the points are just breaking ground. So if you watch here, when I touch this to just anywhere on this plate, it makes contact. And as I rotate this distributor around, it breaks the, the ground. And when it breaks the ground, then it stops the buzz. So since I've got the, the harmonic balancer set at five degrees below top dead center, as soon as, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, but as soon as I move this to where it breaks the, the noise, I assume you can hear the, <laughs> I don't have a way to get a hold of it one-handed. All right, see how it stops the noise? When it stops the noise, that's where I want to set the distributor. Okay, that's where it connects. That's where it breaks. So right there is five degrees top dead center on the number one cylinder. So that's a way to set the initial timing up front and again, you can do that with a test light. If you have the battery hooked up, you can put a test light on there and just touch the test light to any plate on the distributor. And when it, when the light goes on and the light goes off, that's where the contact points are breaking and that's where you'd set it. Hope this helps. Well, I hope you learned something today. Um, if you did, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notification of future videos that will be equally as exciting as the one you just watched. Now, before you go, give me a thumbs up on the video and drop a comment in the comment box if you got any kinds of questions or just think you got to sound off on something. If you have something specific you want to know how to do, well, leave me a comment and I'll see if I can't capture some content for a future video. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here for another Resto Rat episode real soon. Download the Resto Rat app today to begin managing, tracking, and documenting your restoration project.